Natalie Mordetseva from 90 Day Fiancé has been married three times, and while she's still together with her third husband Mike Youngquist, she's looking forward to her possible happily ever after with Josh Weinstein, who she's still in contact with. Natalie, a 37-year-old from Ukraine, left her country and moved to America in time for 90 Day Fiancé Season 8 after getting her K-1 visa. Natalie and Mike's marriage had a shelf life shorter than the one with her second ex-husband, but she's not yet divorced from the squim man. When fans met Natalie for the first time on 90 Day Fiancé Season 7, they were told about her last failed marriage. Mike was going through a divorce and so was Natalie when they met through mutual friends. Natalie made it a point to mention her ex-husband whenever she wanted to taunt 90 Day Fiancé star Mike about his physical fitness. At no point did she mention she had been married twice before meeting Mike. It was first mentioned via a deleted scene during the 90 Day, the single life season 2 tell-all, and while on a beach date with Josh, as Natalie called herself a failure for being married thrice unsuccessfully. One times, it's mistake, two times it's a habit. Three times, it's a fate, Natalie declared. Natalie's first wedding with ex-husband Xenon Pirides Natalie's first husband was Xenon from Cyprus via 90 Day The Melanated Way. My first wedding was huge, Natalie had shared during a confessional from 90 Day Fiancé Season 8. We had a lot of guests. We hired a very expensive hotel. We spent a crazy amount of money on it, she'd added. For her wedding, 90 Day Fiancé Celeb Natalie wore a fitted white dress with a modest square neckline and with minimal makeup on. She wore her tight curls in a loose, half-up, half-down hairstyle. Natalie was staying in Cyprus with her husband while they were married for about two years. She returned to Ukraine when Zenon filed for bankruptcy. Natalie's second wedding with ex-husband Mr. Podiakov Natalie met her second husband a year later through her friends. Natalie's second husband was a busy man who used to travel a lot, and she was married to him for eight years. However, even after that long, Natalie didn't have kids with him. Natalie mentioned in 90 Day Fiancé Season 7, I want to have a child, I want to have a family and when I left him, it was hard. But I understood that it's the right decision. 90 Day Fiancé star Natalie's look for her second wedding was much more glam, as she straightened her hair for a side-swept chignon and wore a glittering strapless corset dress with a full, poofy skirt. For her final look, Natalie wore what looks like a faux fur shrug and a wide smile on her face. Natalie's third wedding with Mike Youngquist after dealing with enough drama in three months to last them a lifetime, Natalie and Mike got married in his backyard. Natalie and Mike's wedding plans were disrupted by the pandemic. They were unsure of what to do, as her visa was about to expire. Natalie's mother couldn't even fly to America to attend the wedding. Natalie was stressed even when she was in a boutique to buy her dress because she was worried Mike would change his mind and never get married. As Natalie and Mike's wedding ceremony was simple and basic, she eventually wore a dress she'd brought from Ukraine with white sneakers fit for the backyard wedding. Only 72 hours before the wedding, Natalie had almost left to go to the airport and Mike had asked for his ring back. Natalie looked low-key yet ethereal with her flowing halter neck gown. It's no wonder when Mike's neighbor Tamara complimented Natalie by saying, you're beautiful, that 90 Day Fiancé star Natalie's response was, I know. Source, 90 Day The Melanated Way, Instagram.